Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katia. For those of you who do, welcome back. So for today's video, for those of you who love when I do my Koakaya hauls, I recently got all of my fall collection and I'm super excited. I'm gonna start off, I have some bags, I have some belts, I have coats. So let me start off with my bags and then move our way into the coats. Or maybe I should start with the coats first. Yeah, let's start with the coats first. Okay, I am so excited. You know, everything that I buy are things that I love and that I probably will keep one for me, for sure. <laughs> I get things that I love and that I hopefully you will love. Since we are moving our way into winter, fall, I love a good coat. And a coat is my go-to statement. If there's one thing I wanna invest in is either a coat or a purse. Everything else I try to find thrifted, I try to find on sale, but when it comes to my coats, you can put something very casual underneath, but when you put the coat, it makes a statement, especially in the winter time. So for me, a coat is a must when it comes to your outfit. So let me start off with the first coat. I'm gonna start off with the black one. You know, I love my boho style, but I also love my witchy gothic vibes in the winter time. It's something that I am drawn to. It's something that I love. Not that I'm saying I'm a witch. And if I were to be a witch, I would definitely be a good witch. I end up getting these. Everything is faux fur when it comes to my coats. So I got these gorgeous faux fur coats. I love my long ankle ones. It has to go to the ankles because I feel as though it looks more elevated more fashion forward. I wanted to have two different styles. I wanted to have for my boho girls, and then I wanted to have for my gothic girls. It doesn't have to be gothic or punk or whatever. It can be more black versus camel color. So anyway, I got this. I have them in extra small, small, medium, large. I don't have extra large, but I would say that they're more on the oversized style. This is an extra small, and I'll show you what it looks like on. And I'm so happy I got these. They're not super light. They're not super heavy, but I feel as though in the winter time, if you layer it up with a hoodie underneath or another thick sweater, that this is something we can pull off in the winter time. So there it is. This would be an extra small. It has these little hooks, so you don't really see them. They're not buttons, but they're hooks. So if you want the coat to be closed or if you want it to be open, to give you an idea as to extra small. So extra small is like this, but I love it open like this you can either dress it up dress it down do an all black look you can even put a white t-shirt with blue jeans and then you pop this on and there you go you look cool <laughs> i have it in this color and another thing that i love is that you can tie it and then put a belt over it so let me show you with a belt let's say i take this belt right here fall and winter are my favorite seasons not because of the weather because i can do without cold weather but i love a good layering it's always been something that i'm drawn to it's so much more fun versus in the summertime you can layer in the summertime but not as much as in the winter okay so just to give you an idea what it can look like i'll try to do a shot where i'm further off because you can either wear it like this with a belt like this or you can even wear like what I have where it's my harnesses. You can play around, but I love the belt too. It gives more of a chicer vibe when it has a belt and more cinched in. And if you want a more laid back look, then I would probably suggest without the belt. But how cute is this? And it's so soft and cozy and oh, I'm obsessed. I love them so much. So let me show you the other color so you can have an idea what it looks like on. Because sometimes when you're looking at things on Kuakaya, it, sometimes it's hard for me to, in a picture, show you exactly the fit, show you the size. So that's why I love to do videos like this so that you can really see what it looks like on or in movement versus a picture. I love both of them. I think that they have such a different vibe and look. One of them I feel is a little bit more boho and more casual. Okay, my ring is getting stuck in everything. First it's my hair, then it's my ring. I am a walking hazard sticking to everything. Okay, so this is what the, I would say not coppery, but more of a brownish, I would say camel. It's a camel color. So this is what the camel one looks like. And I will try to show you obviously further so you can see the whole look of it. Look at the details. It's fluffy. And I love that it's not super heavy, but it's not super light. But if you want to layer it, I would wear it in the colder weathers, but I would layer it with a bunch of sweatshirts, vests underneath, and there's enough room for that. For those of you who are in a little bit, like I'd say New York or a little bit more 
uh, not as cold weather. Um, this is the perfect coat. The quality is beautiful. Not to toot my own horn, but I love a fuzzy fur cozy. It feels so wintry for me. Anyway, this is the camel one. And like I said, it has hooks here. It doesn't have buttons, but you can definitely tie it. So this is what, when you tie it, it there you go. Ta-da! So cute and snuggly. Okay, so let's move on to the purses now. I know it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody's price point, but I feel that there are things that, like I said, that you should invest in. And then there's things that you don't need to splurge on and things that you can, whether it's t-shirts or pants, jeans, those are things that you can mix and match and get things that are a little bit more, I say cheaper, but more affordable. And then there's the higher end pieces where I feel that there are things that are worth the investment when it comes to certain things like i said coats purses belts those are statement pieces those are pieces that you can probably wear year after year time and time again and get so much use out of it so in the long run it ends up being worth it that's the way i see it there are things that i don't splurge as much on like a t-shirt a top because i love to change things up so much but something that, that you'll get so much use out of it the price is maybe a little bit higher but i feel that it's definitely worth it all my purses are real leather made from italy or my belts my belts are all real leather to me i feel that quality and the texture and the feel of things have to be a certain way for it to even be in koakaya it's really important for me they're definitely worth the investment okay i thought i was gonna move on to the belt the purses but let me move on to the belts and then at the end i'll keep it all for the purses so let me show you the belts so i have two different styles again these are pretty much one size you can go from all the way from small extra small to all the way to extra large so that everyone can have the chance of getting a belt i made extra holes there's definitely enough room to make an extra hole you can buy the little machine on amazon that's where i got mine so let me show you this is the first belt it is a chocolatey brown and it has this beautiful silver detailing here and then this stone in the middle gorgeous Again, I feel that this maybe has more of a boho vibe versus the other one. I love both boho and I love gothic-y, grunge, punk. I love the mix of both. And that's something that I probably will love the rest of my life. So when it comes to Koakaya, it's a mix of that. When it comes to the clothing accessories, you'll get a mix of both. So this is the first. I hide it on that little thing there and it holds. You can either let it hang like this or... What I like to do is tuck it in a little bit like this in the back. Something like this over a black jumpsuit. Maybe not this one, but a black jumpsuit, an ivory jumpsuit, a monochromatic look, and then you pop this belt on, a skirt. I wore it with a skirt in one of my shoots. I thought it had looked so beautiful with a mix and match outfit. And so I'm thinking even over the coat can look amazing there's so many ways a belt is the perfect accessory to elevate your look so this is the brown one like i said you can add an extra hole i hooked it on that little flap here and it holds perfectly but if you're smaller like me then you can definitely either put another hole i've done this in the past where i didn't have that little machine i would use like a little fork and then a knife and i would make a little hole until it was like perfect. So if you don't want to buy that hole puncher on Amazon, then you can use a fork and then make your own hole to your liking. But yeah, so this is the first belt. Moving on to my second one, I wanted to have a black one in the collection as well. This one has more, I would say, rocker, still boho, just a whole different vibe. So it is this beauty right here. It has all of this silver detailing, you know, this big, huge buckle oh so good i love this one as well over the black coat can look amazing i will show you over the black coat so this is the black one wear it with an all black look or you can with jeans i wore it last time with a leopard pants and then this suede coat it doesn't always have to match there's a lot of people that i feel are still stuck in that things have to match and to me things don't have to match it has to work together so you don't have to have a blue hat that goes with the blue shoes that goes with the blue purse it's to me it's too matchy matchy i love to mix and match and create dimension to your look and it makes an outfit look less flat so if you the rule of not wearing black with brown or black with blue throw it out the window because you can wear whatever you want and make it work so that's the most important thing is creating a cohesive look but with 
dimension, texture, and anyway, so that a black belt doesn't have to go with black or it doesn't have to go with white or you can put it with any color. And a black belt is definitely so versatile. It has a little angle that you can put it in or you can put it straight across. I love it more on an angle like this and I'd let this hang. It has a cooler vibe. So anyway, this is the black belt. Now we are going to move on to the purses. So I'm going to start off with the smaller purses. I have several available, but again, it's limited stock. So when it goes, it goes. I might sometimes always get more in stock. So if you do want, please email me or DM me. Um, if you're interested in a certain product, I can maybe get it for you. But pretty much when it goes, it goes. I have them in three different colors. So let me start off with this beauty right here. It is this gorgeous suede banana shape kind of bag with the fringes here and then there's the detailing so you can either put it higher lower um, you can put it to give you an idea of the size like this so you can put it more underneath your arm if you love it more you know like this or you can put it as a crossbody bag let me show you oh can I get my hat in here oh my god okay large hat problems <laughs> So if you want it more like a crossbody bag like this, right now there's some stuffing in there, so it's <laughs> probably a little bit more bulky, um, but I love a bag like this as well. It's hands-free, so you can do what you need to do, do a little shopping, and you don't have to worry about sort of it falling off your shoulder. I, I love this style of bag. It's so beautiful. And also, there's a lot of things that you can fit in it. I have a medicine cabinet. Everything that you need is in my bag. If someone needs something, I got you. Whether it's you have pain, I have this. Do you need dental floss? I got it. So if you're like me, then you're probably going to love the size of this bag. It's, it's not too oversized where you look like you're walking around looking like a big bag. But it's the perfect size for me anyway. I do love my a bit more oversized versus my itty bitty. But I do have some small bags as well. It comes in a chocolatey brown like this. Right now the screen is coming out a little bit more orangey, but it's really like a, a chocolate brown, like a darker chocolate brown. Then we have it in this beautiful camel color as well. Gives a different vibe, a different look too. So good. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I want to keep them all. <laughs> but I gotta make a living here too, right? So I can't keep them all. My husband would kill me. Um, so anyway, there is this beautiful camel color one. I also have it in this burgundy red, and for some reason it's coming up a lot more reddish, but it, I would say it's like a, a maroon kind of color. It's not completely plum, it's not burgundy, it's like a, a maroon. <laughs> so I love that too, with an all black look. Look at this, with a pop of red. So these are my suede fringe bags. Moving on to my last bags. I have it in three different colors and let me show you. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the brown color. I, this year, am obsessed with chocolate brown. I love a good chocolate brown mixed in with some camel color or even, I know what, like I said, the rule of you can't wear black with brown, throw it out the window because there's no rules to fashion. To me, anyway, I know some people have their specific rules, for me, there shouldn't be any rules. It's whatever works and whatever looks beautiful. So to me, I would definitely wear my chocolate brown with my black coat. So, okay, let me show you this beauty. So again, this is all leather and it has this fringe strap right here with this detail. Let me show you, can I show you closer? Yeah, so like this detail here and it also has it on the handle over here so you can either wear it like this if you want more of a hands-free or you can wear it like this where I love to wear my bags like this I walk around and prance with my little bag um, but this is more I would say a tote style bag versus the other one it can be a travel bag as well but I don't feel it's super huge for a travel bag the leather is like that creamy soft leather it's so good so good because there's that there's the leather that's like hard and it, over time it starts looking cracky I feel like when it's like this soft smooth silky leather i feel as though the more you use it the better it looks so anyway i have this brown one so this one is a little bit darker this is more lighter chocolatey brown again it's coming out like a reddish every time it's because of the window or the sun it feels like it has that orangey tint but the picture that i'm gonna put up or the video that i'm gonna put up usually is the pretty accurate color of what it is 
so be mindful of that for size wise it's a pretty big bag not super oversized it's a good size tote bag let me show you the other color i also have it in this taupey beige color like this it has a zipper in the back and then you can either wear it with a strap and i wanted something that was different and if you don't like the strap it is removable so you can totally take out the strap let me show you without the strap it can be a simple bag for those girls that like a little bit less of that more is more and want a simple quality tote bag you can hold it down which you can see <laughs> but you get the gist you can literally hold it like this but i love my bag when it has that strap right in the front there and let it hang it adds a little dimension again to my purse and then of course i had to get in the black color again has a, a zipper in the back detailing and this is what it looks like yes this is what it looks like when you're walking, shopping. <laughs> anyway, this was my last bag. That is the fall collection. Once this video goes up, I will leave the link down below. So if you are interested in any of them, they will all be available, but there will be limited stock. So just a heads up. Once they're gone, they're gone. But I wanted to share them because I know some of you really love when I do share and I do my hauls and I share new pieces that I put on in the shop. Also, if you're looking for Christmas presents, not only an early Christmas present for yourself, but also for other people. A bag is a beautiful gift. It's not always something that you can afford. It's not always something that you like buying. It's one of those things that it's always nice to receive it as a gift. Coats, I would say I love to buy my own coats because I love to choose my stuff. But when it comes to handbags or other accessories, they're the perfect Christmas gift or birthday gift or any holiday gift. So anyway, I thought it was very fitting since we are in the Christmas spirit and I thought it was fitting to add a little bit of my new collection so that if you're looking for the holiday outfit, if you want to look cute in your holiday outfit, I know Christmas parties are coming. I know I have one. So I'm definitely going to be wearing these coats and definitely these purses and for my husband's christmas party they go to a bed and breakfast hotel and we stay there for one day one night you have breakfast and then you have the supper and you mingle with everybody so i am ready to go when it comes to the holiday outfit moving on to what i am wearing because i know for those of you who love to know what i am wearing let me start from up to down like i normally do so hat is a brixton hat you have seen this hat time and time again it's one of my favorite favorite hats again when we we're talking about investment it wasn't a cheap hat but it was definitely worth the investment i have gotten so much use out of this i love that super wide brim it has a whole witchy vibe but you can also wear it with a blazer and more of a casual look and then you put this hat and it elevates it jewelry all of it koakaya i stacked four necklaces this is a velvet jumpsuit i got it as a gift and i believe it's from free people it ties all on the side here so you can either wear it with a shirt underneath you can wear it with a turtleneck i'm not sure if it's still available i know it was from last year's collection but maybe they'll come out with something very similar and it has pockets it has pockets it's so gorgeous and you can sort of stick to your waist size so if you have a smaller waist then you can pull on it if you want something a little bit looser it's such a beautiful holiday jumpsuit and then moving on to my lace shirt i got this i believe it was last year it was from h&m if i'm not mistaken or no it was winners i'm sorry it was winners i got it it's this bodysuit underneath a jumpsuit it doesn't move around it's perfect so I am giving a little bit of some gothy witch vibes today. <laughs> I'm channeling the whole end of October Halloween look. Lipstick, again, the Maybelline. Love it. A little bit tacky when you put it on, but it lasts for a very long time. I believe it's called Superstay Matte Ink. And it's in color. I got to put my glasses on for this. It's in color 112. I cannot see even with my glasses. <laughs> That's how bad my eyes are. I can't see the writing, but it's 112. So that's the lipstick. So for those of you who ask the lipstick, Maybelline. And I got it on sale. So I had paid it like $6.99, which is so good for a lipstick. Simple, neutral color. It can look pretty too, but I feel it adds a feel to the look already. Anyway, that is it. That is the whole outfit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next, I said it was going to be the centerpiece and how I style my table for the holidays, uh, but it will be in the next video. So that's what's coming up next. I'm really trying to target different 
areas of Christmas that I love. And my husband was saying, is it really the day that you love Christmas? And I don't think it's the day as such. Yes, I love that you're spending time with your family and it's fun, but it's what leads up to Christmas that gives me that excitement and makes me feel very childlike. It's everything, doing the Christmas tree, hot chocolate, markets, Christmas markets, buying gifts. I, and it's not all about gifts. It's that magical feel from November all the way to Christmas that's exciting. That's what goes and gets me the most and why I love Christmas so much. So anyway, I will see you in my next video. Mwah!